Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It's Amin here with Sayyidina Masters, developing the Muslim mindset for success. And today I came across a very interesting uh, post on Facebook by a certain uh, business personality, you could say. He's not very famous, but he's somebody that I follow and uh, I think he's, you know, he's had a lot of success in running different businesses. And he announced that, uh, I mean, announced, you know, this is what people do these days on, with their micro followings or whatever. He said that I finally gotten rid of my phone. I found a way to not have a phone, not need a phone. Um, and he said, you know, I've been working on it a while, for a while, like trying to find a way where I can live a life without a phone, like where I don't absolutely need to have a phone. And he said, finally, I've gotten rid of this destructive force in my life. And he mentioned a few things, but one thing that, that he mentioned that kind of stuck out to me was the fact that phones and other similar yani, technologies, they encourage us to seek instant feedback and instant gratification. And the way I related that to my life is I on my phone, I have like Google Chrome, for example. If I ever want to search something, I just go ahead and search it on my phone, you know, uh, even, you know, even when even further when um, it's not just Wi-Fi that we can use to to connect to the internet now we could we have data and data is pretty cheap and any, everyone has a data plan and so anywhere you are you can search so you just think of oh, I'm curious about this or I want to know this you can just go and search and that's good obviously there's benefit in that but what it's doing is training you to always just do things instantly. You think of something, oh, you, you need to close the loop straight away, right? The, the lo loop meaning you get curiosity, you get an answer, then you get curiosity, you get an answer. That loop, you, you're always looking to close that loop very quickly. And I just thought, do I need Google Chrome on my phone or could I just search these things on my laptop? And I thought, yeah, really and truly, a lot of the apps on my phone, they're handy to have on my phone, there's benefit in them, but... I'm using my phone more than I would like, and I can do all these things on my laptop. So I just deleted them. I deleted Google Chrome, I deleted my uh, email app, and I deleted Slack, which is the chat app that I use for work. I deleted them, and now I've got it on my laptop. When I'm working, is there, I'm on my laptop working. I've got controls on my laptop and software on my laptop to control my use and my wastage of time. And I'm fine, and I'm le spending less time on my phone, which is what I want. You know, for me, I want to spend my time usefully and beneficially for, for my goals in life. And so when I look at my time spent on my phone and I see uh, an hour a day on Google Chrome or uh, an hour a day on Slack or whatever it is, I just think, is that leading me towards my goals? And personally, it's not. You know, maybe for some people it is, but for me, it's not. It's not at all. So I don't want to train myself to just seek instant gratification straight away. I don't want to be um, spending time on my phone. I'd rather, if, I, if it's serious, if it's worth the time, sit at your laptop, do it properly. If you wanted to search something and by the time you get on your laptop, you've forgotten about it already, then maybe it's not that important. But anyway, this is just something which is quite, you know, a big deal uh, these days for someone to get rid of their phone. Um, I don't think I'm going to get rid of my phone, but it did make me think of what I've shared with you in this video. So, you know, think about it. Think about it yourself, honestly. Could you imagine a day when you didn't have a phone? Um, are you using the, your time on your phone, like, to benefit you in the, your goals for your life? Or are you just, like, literally just following whatever your uh, back of your mind tells you to do? You know, do you just get an impulse to check something and you go check it instantly? And if so, are you training yourself for instant gratification to seek your desires right away? Or are you training yourself to seek the akhirah, which comes after hard work and pers perseverance? Think about that very deeply because if you've trained your brain to seek gratification always instantly, how will you hold out? How will you have the patience to seek the akhirah, which comes later? It comes after work, it comes after time, it doesn't come instantly. So are you training yourself to get to Jannah? Think about that. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. I'll see you in the next video if it comes.